Good morning, everybody. Another Maletti Law of Vinny University Q&A. Sign up in the button, the YouTube below, whatever it's called. Subscribe. Get more videos. All right. So I, when I do these Q&As, remember, I always like to do one that's um, employment related. I like to do one that's intellectual property related. And then I like to do one that's e-commerce related because at the end of the day, those are like my kind of like my bread and butter, you know. I do employment law uh, generally. I do intellectual property. I do a lot of brand work. And then I do... Um, and then I do, uh, what do you call it? And then I do like a lot of e work with e-commerce companies online, a lot of e-commerce businesses. So those are like my bread and butter. So I try to answer one question every day based on my experience and what I've done and blah, 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 blah to, <clears throat> you know, help, help everybody out, right? So today's question is, and I can't look at it because I'm driving, but today's question for the intellectual property side was, um, I'm using a copyrighted work or copyrighted piece of material if I give credit to the owner of the material, to the creator of the material, am I protected? Am I still uh, liable or at risk for you know some kind of copyright infringement? The uh, answer to that is just very easy, yes. Um, there are a few exceptions uh, in the copyright law in which you could use works and you could use them without concern. So for instance, like fair use. Uh, let's say it's an, in an educational setting. If you're a teacher and you took an episode of Family Guy and you showed your students, I, know, I should be a terrible teacher, I guess, right? <laughs> I probably you probably shouldn't show your kids anything with Family Guy if you're a teacher. Okay, you're a teacher. You Schoolhouse Rock, and I'm aging myself here. So let's say you, you're a teacher and you show your kids Schoolhouse Rock. And you know you want to you, you need them to learn what a bill is, and um, you show you show the video of Schoolhouse Rock, and that's it. You know and you'll that is an educational setting that's an example you will never in your life have to worry about uh infringement claim on that no matter what because you're it's just it's purely uh it's just purely teaching you know it's purely educational and you're protected from that now if you're like a business let's say and you know i don't know you took a picture of the bills from schoolhouse rock sitting on um the steps of congress you know and you're a lawyer and you're selling legal services i probably wouldn't use that lawyer because that lawyer probably got sued already. <laughs> but, um, you know, but yeah, no, no. So, and no matter what, even if you attribute the author, you're not going to be able to get away from it because you have to get express permission. Otherwise, it's unauthorized and you get in trouble. So, um, even if you attribute the author and say whatever year and date and where it came from, even if you cite the registration number, unless you've reached out to that person to, you know, make some kind of connection and get some kind of authority, you're not entitled to it. So that's, you know, that's where we're going with that. That's the reality. Um, so while it's, it'd be nice, you know, to have some kind of like outright, what do you call it, exclusion like that, it'd be cited to them, it's really not the case. So short answer, yes, you will still get in trouble even if you cite to them, you got to get like real permission somewhere. I don't know, paper or in an email or something, whatever it is, you, you got to get some kind of permission to use a registered work. Otherwise you're going to get in trouble. Um, with, unless you fall into one of those exceptions, but whatever, let's not go into that right now. Cause we just want to be quick Q and a, all right. Sorry, three minutes. Peace out. Have a good day, everybody.